Hey guys, so I've been talking a lot lately about how I've been wanting to organize my pantry because my pantry or pantries, I have several cabinets, are a complete disaster. It's embarrassing. You may think that I'm a very neat and organized person, but when it comes to my pantry, you're gonna see that there is a demon lurking behind closed doors. All right, what appears on the surface to be a tidy space. Oh, what's lurking behind door number one, you might ask. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, we've got just a mishmash of everything in here. Uh, a purple carrot menu, which I'm going to be using to make tonight's dinner, which I'll show you guys at the end of this video once I get my, once I get my kitchen in, in gear. Uh, and I've got some appliances scattered throughout. Um, Maple shizzer, anyone? Uh, protein powder, cup. Behind door number two, we have even more chaos. This actually started out strong and has just declined. Uh, yeah, this, this uh, you can see there, there's a template in here of structure and that's what I'm gonna base the entirety of this pantry organization off of is what was kind of working in here. I'm gonna try and and move on to other spaces. And here's where it gets uh, really weird behind door number three. <laughs> Just a mishmash of uh, random chaos. Uh, my grandmother silver, anyone? Uh, adult bib and apron? Plantain crisp? Oh, <coughs> do you have a frog in your throat? Why not grab a uh, Ricola? and dust it with some coconut aminos, cause that's logic. And uh, Sweet Baby Ray's, or excuse me, that's uh, G. Hughes, pardon me. <laughs> oh, and look, in case you need to sedate yourself from the trauma, I've got a little melatonin. I have a video on melatonin, by the way. I rarely, rarely ever take this. I think I've taken maybe one of these, but if you work a swing shift or night shifts, this uh, can be of assistance. Uh, gluten-free cookies, anyone? So yeah, got some work to do here. This is everything that I purchased to organize my pantry. I got mostly mason jars because that is really what works for me quite well in my lifestyle. Not only for organizing things, but they're just so functional. All right, so I got this size. These are the smooth edges. I got these at Kroger. Um, and then I also got the, um, the uh, larger 24 ounce jars. And uh, then I got these big ones. I got two that are opaque because I'm gonna put uh, probably protein powder in there. And I noticed protein powders always come in opaque containers. And I suspect it's because the ingredients might degrade with exposure to light. I also have one clear mason jar. And then I got the rest of the things from Walmart. I got a little non-skid turntable. Two turntables and a microphone. Trying to pep this up. All right, and then I got these little, um, baskets and I got this uh, kind of set. These are really inexpensive to uh, store, you know, collate, if you will, jars of things. I really like this color, this gray. What is this line called? It has some fancy name. I got these at um, Walmart, Jute, Curve or Jute. Yeah, they put remote controls in it, but I'm probably gonna put beans. And these I saw at Walmart and they were really inexpensive. Uh, you saw the chaos that was all those water bottles and whatnot uh, in my, in that one pantry. So I'm gonna attempt to organize them with this thing. And then I also got another two-tiered turntable with these little acrylic uh, containers on top that I think will be handy for uh, like my beverage stick habit, perhaps. By protein bars that need a home, I almost forgot to tell you the other demon. We have a door number four. Uh, I've got some protein uh, bars in there, uh, a box of cauliflower rice, um, some more protein powder. Yeah, sprinkled it with Pyrex and a mixer, logically. And I almost forgot to mention, I also got this Easy Liner Slut Grip. I don't know that I'm actually gonna use this in my pantries. I may save it for the disaster that is in the drawers, which I haven't even shown you guys. So if you guys like this video, maybe at one point I will organize the drawers and get them all straightened up. All right, here we go. I am just gonna start by pulling everything out of my cabinets and I'm attempting to kind of categorize things, condiments, bottles miscellaneous toppings. I'm seeing kind of a uh, 
baked goods uh, baking section appearing, but what the heck is this? I have this little uh, three compartment container that I randomly put some protein powder in. I don't know. These true lime seasonings I've had in here forever. I don't use them enough. They're kind of getting a little cakey and solidified. And oops, surprise, it's Alaria, a sea vegetable I forgot I had. Uh, nori sheets and some coconut wraps I completely forgot about. So I initially thought I might try and store this box of silver up above my uh, fridge cabinet, but unfortunately it doesn't fit, so I'm just going to stick it on top of the fridge. I have like so much stuff randomly shoved in here, and I've come to realize I don't actually enjoy going over to this little pantry subset that much, so I tend to ignore things when they're in here, so as a result I don't know what I have. Like, ooh, surprise, it is a date bar that I realize what's in there. Fortunately, I don't think that this expires. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about these. I went on a uh, Amazon binge one night and bought some soy curls after seeing a bazillion what I eat in a day vegan editions on YouTube using them. I thought, oh, I need to try these. I'm just folding up my uh, grocery bags here and putting them in the uh, little closet there so I remember to put them in my car. That's a tip. I always store my reusable grocery bags in the trunk of my car so I'm never without them. Uh, if I happen to run by the grocery store on my way home, um, I don't have to rely on getting a, a plastic or paper bag. Peanut snack. I'm actually filming this video on Labor Day, so... Uh, I, needed, I knew I needed the time to dedicate to it. <laughs> I decided to just put that drawer liner up above my microwave for a future project, but those uh, drawer liners are great. I've got, as you can see here, these like uh, plasticky ones that I put inside the pantry. They're amazing because my pantry shelves have those little uh, spaces and stuff can fall through there, so I put these down. I'm just wiping them off here with some surface cleaner that uh, is by the brand Attitude. You guys know I love that. It's a Canadian brand. I have this issue where I am a poor judge of volume that I need, so I ended up having to put the cacao nibs into a larger jar. And so then I just put the uh, my actual cacao powder into that one smaller jar, since they're kind of similar flavors. And you know, when you're disorganized in certain places, you forget that you already have things. So as a result, I've got three bags of psyllium husk powder. I use this uh, as a vegan egg replacement. Yeah, I use it in recipes. I also will use chia seeds as an egg replacement. Uh, you can also use um, ground up flax seeds. But I am well stocked on the uh, psyllium husk, so <laughs> I can do a lot of vegan baking. I'm just having an apple snack here. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see this much clutter and chaos out in the open, it drains me of energy. That's why, that's why I have a bad habit of stuffing it behind closed doors where I can't see it. I don't know how some people function with clutter all around them. I had this professor in college who, no joke, in his office, it was like floor to ceiling, papers, books, random objects. A tetanus shot was definitely a requirement for going in there for office hours. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a risky endeavor. starting to feel a little more energized here now that things are coming into categories and having a little impromptu uh, dance party <laughs> in my kitchen. 
kind of uh, categorizing things and seeing, I'm seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. Now I'm just going to put the protein powders into these opaque mason jars. And I'm gonna put flavored in one jar and unflavored in another. And yes, I am combining multiple different variants of vanilla flavored protein powder. Uh, but the uh, California Gold Nutrition one is really good. The Tone It Up one that I'm divvying into, the, into here now, it's pretty good too. Uh, it doesn't blend in as well as, as, uh, as the California Gold Nutrition or the uh, Four Sigmatic plant-based protein. It's unflavored, but that blends in so well. I think it's the mushrooms. It just makes it go, go into things uh, more easily of a creamy consistency. This is just some brown rice powder that I'm putting in here. I like keeping nuts and seeds in the fridge, so that's what I'm doing here, just putting those in jars for the fridge. For a while, Costco was carrying these amazing dried shiitake mushrooms and then they stopped doing that. Uh, so I'm glad I stocked up on them when, while they were carrying them. Yeah, if you missed one of my more recent grocery hauls, uh, I normally buy frozen rice cauliflower at Costco, but they were out of it one week, so I bought these little individual baggies. It's kind of a one-time for me purchase. I don't think I'll be repurchasing them, but they obviously now need a home. Oh, and uh, speaking of Costco, I also got these command hooks there, and I'm going to use them in my pantry to hang up my aprons and adult bibs. Yes, I love using an adult bib when I eat dinner at night because I am messy, a messy eater, and I typically eat uh, in uh, nicer clothes or my pajamas even. I don't like spilling stuff on my clothing, so it's been a shirt saver to wear these. I highly recommend them. But speaking of dinner, a uh, big thank you to Purple Carrot for sponsoring a portion of today's video and that is what I'm going to be making for dinner, one of their fabulous meal kits. So I just changed my clothes, I'm going to head out for a workout class, but before I do that I'm going to throw together dinner because I'm going to be pretty hungry when I get home. And tonight I am doing a baked lemony couscous with tomatoes and scallion cashew cheese. This is one of the meal kits from Purple Carrot. I love this service. Everything I've ever made from this has been so good. You all know I follow a plant-based vegan diet. And regardless of what your diet is, it's always a good idea to attempt to incorporate more fruits and vegetables. Uh, fruits and vegetables, particularly those like carrots that are high in vitamin C, actually have been shown to raise your minimal erythematous dose in your skin, which is basically the amount of sunlight uh, or UV that uh, leads to skin damage. You can, you can kind of buffer against that simply by eating more plants. But Purple Carrot is a great uh, meal delivery service if you're at all interested in trying to eat at least a few more plant-based recipes are incorporating them in your life and you just don't really know where to start. Even though I've been following this diet for a long time now, this particular meal delivery service kit always 
blows me out of the water in terms of the recipes that it introduces me to. Uh, for example, this particular couscous recipe, I've had couscous a million times in my life and I never would have thought to make it this way in a casserole in the oven with the chickpeas and just these very simple ingredients. It comes together so easily. Uh, with purple carrot, you can either do uh, two servings uh, or a six serving plan. I do obviously the two serving plan uh, because it's just me, but they've now got a six serving plan. You can uh, get two unique plant-based dinners each week uh, that will serve six. And you can also do different add-ons. They have breakfast and they have lunch extras that you can add on. I've done the, the breakfast add-ons and they're really good. Uh, for example, I recently had uh, this brown rice turmeric coconut bowl that was totally unique from anything I would ever make for myself for breakfast. It was very easy and I, th I threw it together in like two minutes one morning when I was in a rush and I totally want to make that again. Uh, but check the link in my description box you guys. I have a coupon code for you all if you are at all interested. I highly recommend this. All of their meals are 100% plant-based. So for me as a vegan, I don't have to worry about like reading the ingredients and wondering about occult honey or anything like that. Yeah, at this step in the preparation, I'm just topping it with this tree line cashew cheese, the scallion flavor. I've seen this in the grocery store and I think I've had different versions of it, but I've never had the scallion one. I tasted a little bit of it as I was preparing this and be warned, it is really good. It uh, is definitely something I'm gonna pick up uh, the next time I see it in the grocery store. Purple carrot is really perfect for people trying to incorporate more plant-based meals in their diet um, or people who are just super busy and uh, get burnt out with eating the same things over and over and are just looking to change, change it up and learn some new recipes uh, and avoid going out to eat. On to the before and afters. You will recall this initial disaster zone here on my side pantry. Voila! So much better looking and tidy and functional. I love that. Gives me a sense of peace. All right, over here I have the bibs and the aprons, as I said, on the hooks on the door. And then on this shelf, I put the Lazy Susan. It's actually too wide to put in the other cabinets. Uh, it doesn't allow you to close the doors. I just put tall items on this, like uh, different, my vinegars and whatnot that won't fit my other uh, cabinets properly. And then over here, I have this uh, snack basket. I have the remains of what is left of the chocolate flavor of those gluten-free cookies. Uh, I've had some chocolate bars, and lilies, Simple Mills cookies, <laughs> cauliflower snack the vegan julian bakery protein granola i enjoy that and then some dried watermelon back there and then this is kind of my beverage section i have all of my little four sigmatic uh, elixir packets and instant coffees and i've got my natural calm over here and then the four sigmatic beauty mix i like to have that uh, in the evening uh, some uh, surplus uh, mushroom coffee there and then these are all different powders for making fun smoothies. I've got dragon fruit, moringa, uh, spirulina, blue butterfly powder. This is my kind of baking goods, items, whatnot section. I've got cacao powder, powdered peanut butter. I like to bake with that. Baking powder. These are instant pudding mixes that are vegan, so long as you make them with non-dairy milk. You can get them on iHerb. They're pretty good. Uh, vanilla extract. Auger powder is a great substitute for gelatin in a vegan diet. Potato flakes make a nice uh, thickener in soups and baked goods. Uh, unsweetened uh, baking chocolate, some nonstick spray. 
I uh, also had some almond flour back there. And this container is just uh, cans. I don't keep a lot of canned goods on hand, so I don't need much space for that. And here are just some dry goods. Jackfruit is a wonderful substitute for uh, beef texture. So I have that in there along with some chickpea pasta. And then here I have just surplus spices uh, that I don't obviously need right away. And mason jars, I like putting them in here because it's protected from light. And then this is my soy bin with the soy curls, soy flour. I have some boxed tofu that can be kept at uh, room temperature as well as textured vegetable protein. Up here in this uh, refrigerator bin, actually, that's airtight, I just have some opened things in individual Ziploc bags, vital wheat gluten, and baking soda. Then up here, I have uh, the silver, as I mentioned. All right, coming over here, I actually ended up using these little white bins for uh, some stevia packets that I have, and then the other one for my coasters. They're always floating around and creating chaos uh, when not in use. So I really tidied that up. Who could forget this disaster? That was the before, and here we have the after. Looks so much better. These are a lot of my frequently used spices. I get most of my spices from iHerb. I love Frontier Co-op. You can buy big bags uh, and then just reuse jars, so much less, a lot less waste. The little Lazy Susan uh, thing that I got at Walmart is awesome. I really was pleased with how that came out. It's adjustable in height. And I ended up using it to put uh, like a lot of my common mix-ins, cinnamon, that Lakanto drinking chocolate, chia seeds, my st stevia hot chocolate, and then my stevia. And then up here, you might wonder, how is she gonna get in there? Well, they come out like little drawers. So I have my decaf instant coffee sticks, and then <laughs> my caffeinated instant coffee sticks. And then in the third, I have my um, flavored beverage stick. So mostly, I seem to be on a lemon lemonade kick. The uh, Ultima Lemonade Replenisher sticks are really good, by the way. Uh, then I've got oatmeal in progress, uh, my new natural stevia cocoa syrup, cacao nibs, so that's kind of frequently used oatmeal mix-ins. And these are spices that I commonly use together in my slow cooker, so I can just take this over to my slow cooker when I'm making soups at night. Black pepper, turmeric, fenugreek, uh, anise seeds, and bay leaf, I love those together. And then in this middle shelf, I have some spices in progress, smaller containers, like my nutritional yeast, dill, spices, some beans, and then a mix of red rice and um, and quinoa there in that jar to the far right that I'm just veering away from in this tour. Uh, then up here I've got more psyllium husk, uh, my Frontier Co-op vegetable soup mix, highly recommend it, no salt, additional uh, oatmeal, black sesame seeds, green split peas, and Frontier Co-op pizza seasoning. I strongly recommend that stuff. It is so good, wonderful taste, just like pizza. Okay, remember this chaos? Kind of looks like something you might see in somebody's garage. Voila, so much better. Now I can actually see what I have rather than just rebuying things I already own. In the mason jars, the clear one, I ended up putting the Ricola, so I remember I have them. And then, like I said, I did the, uh, this is the flavored protein powder and then the unflavored protein powder. So I just put them in alphabetical order. That's what, that way I don't have to label them. Ooh, this little uh, rotating kind of reminds me of uh, Kathy Bates and Misery. Doggy was pointed due south this morning. Comment below on if you've seen that movie. It's a good one, also a good book. Anyways, I digress. Here are the shiitakes. This is a brown sugar container, but it works well because that little terracotta nubbin in there keeps the moisture out. Uh, then I've got some more dried mushrooms up here, along with sea vegetables. And I also have uh, the uh, Nuco uh, coconut wraps in there. I've gotta remember I have those. And then the ginger juice, which is very convenient. Up here, I have uh, just a collation of random condiments that have not been opened, or vinegars, mustard. Up here, I have the cauliflower rice packets, which I probably won't repurchase. So I'll probably end up replacing the contents of this bin with kind of uh, replacement items for things that are nearing ending in the jars, like oatmeal, for example, will probably just be stored in there temporarily. So it'll be like a holding pen. 
I decided that underneath this, I was going to put all of my like commonly used appliances, my air fryer, soy bella, and kosari multi-cooker pressure cooker, as well as my Ninja blender. And then next to it, I set up the water bottle holder. This thing is really great. It keeps everything nice and organized. So yeah, that's it. Oh my god, that couscous was so good, you guys. Check the link in the description box. Definitely check out Purple Carrot. So good. But I just want to come on here and say thanks for watching the pantry organization. It feels so good to have my pantry organized. Uh, it's just a nice calming feeling to see everything neat and tidy. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.